Hey YouTube, today I'll be doing um a Warlord uh tutorial I guess for my Death Wizard. Um so I thought I should show my equipment. Here's my hat, robe, those and uh shoes. They're all water works equipment. I would get the crafted uh boots from Safaria, but um I haven't crafted that yet. I got the uh a bundle um wand that uh gives fifty critical, anything that would give fifty critical. My fame is a lexicon blade from Tower of the Elephant. Um, any other uh a fame you should you just get a fame that fits your style. Um, amulet was the shock I don't know the name. It's the uh amulet that gives the death blade and uh health. Um the ring was the black signet thing. I'm sure you saw it on the video I kind of behind. Okay, this is the deck. Um I thought I should just completely take everything out and complete and reconstruct it for you um if you saw my pet any pet with a spud pet instead of sprightly you could have fairy you know you want defy spell proof and um some kind of healing if you want it or damage if you would prefer it anyone works if you saw my epic talent what ended up being health gift so it was a complete waste of my uh evil magma p harvest to get it to epic um I might try to get it to Mega. I don't know. Um, if I did, you know, I I, I don't know because I don't like the health gift. You know, um. So here I'll go start deconstructing my deck. Just take everything out and completely reconstruct it for you guys. Um, I I'm thinking this. Uh, I'm a level 72 death. I um. I did get Warlord earlier today. I uh. I have a pretty good, um, I actually went like 21 and 2 to get to this point, um, when I, to get, uh, cap, um, commander, okay, what I do is max out on tower shields, you always want your tower shields, 3, um, of the thermal shields, I think, max colossus, uh, 3, um, gargantuan, uh, 2 myth dispels in case someone, uh, if someone's shattering or earthquaking, Three infall infallibles for if someone has a lot of for um getting through people's resist. Three death shields just in case you know people are um I'm fighting a death. Um, a lot of death blades. Um, three doom and glooms because if someone's spam healing or if their pet heals them, it's kind of uh it's not good. Three of the um I guess uh death shields. Three faints in case someone has a lot of health. Three infections for people who don't don't have healing pets. Three Von Monsters for um, people who don't shield and just take them out quick. I do have three Lord of Knights. You could easily replace that with um, Wraith if you don't have it. One um, pla Plague um, for just a quick weakness if someone's using overtime. Um, three Poisons to get people rid of people who shield. One sacrifice for, um, if people are faint stacking, you can use the death shield, put it on, so it won't hurt you that much. Um, a few skeletal pirates in case, um, for a quick follow-up hit, and I think that's all I put in. Okay, I'm showing you the pet stats, you know. Okay, so, um, now I'm going to do, uh, show you guys a 1v1, because this is also, uh, oh, okay, um, I don't remember fleeing any duels. So that's my friend. She's also a death warlord. She uses the same equipment, all the hangmen stuff. She's had a way better pet. I beat her though. Um. Yeah, you see, she's a little lower level than me. She's got the same exact equipment. Better pet by far. Definitely better pet. Um. She's got the warlord wand, which I'm saving up for. Yeah, the black spinal of death is the um. Ring I use. Okay. So um, I think. I should be able to play now. I don't know why. I don't remember playing any duels. Any um badge except the default one. I have 47 with, I'm not sure how many losses. It's glitched on the screen. But you see, I do have Warlord. I'm currently trying to get over. Before I was good, that's what my, uh, I only got Sergeant. But that was way before I got good at all. I didn't know what those were because I wanted to see. I was playing Grow Guardian for fun just to, um, just to train my pet, and I got uh, some rewards, I guess. So you guys saw my deck. Skeletal Dragon is if people who are you know have a cut one or two shields on, you just blade up, put on, you know get every blade you have on that you have that you know of, and just um.
just sh make sure you get them you know fast and then what you do what I do is usually um hit them and if they have a lot a load of health left if I know they'll have a load of health left over the turns um I get a quick one or two more blades on and then von uh, monster but if I know that if it's like you know someone weaker who's not gonna have much health left I uh, a skeletal pirate because that that should take their health down at just enough okay um so I got in a game I think this was another death wizard um death is one of the I'd say in the top three for most challenging schools to fight. Fire is very difficult from second from first. They're um, not too, too hard. Number one would probably be ice because, you know, they have so much health. And then in second, would I'd say myth. Um, myth until um, myth is a very good PvP school. And if they have the crafted uh, Zafari gear, they'll have a lot of a uh, good bit of death resist. And then balance is up there too over level like around if a, the balance is around level 76 to 75 that's when they become way more difficult because they have all the they got mana burn they got the one that breaks your aura but um this guy uses fortify which isn't that bad of a strategy it really if it but it's probably not wise to use at the very beginning of the game unless you're fighting a spammer because um oh it's boosting your resist but i just out what i'm gonna do is just blade um start get my blades on fa f fast um most death wizards don't really use their minions that much so i didn't that's why i discarded that scarecrow so um got the blade on was what i think he poisons no he uses a uh, virigulant plague which is not I only use that f coming from first usually, because it does take three pips. If I'm first and I, I can tell they're about to hit, most people you can tell before they hit, and some people are just very um uh unpredictable. The so tower shots on. Okay, this seems like it's gonna be. He's n he doesn't have the best strategy, but going second, it's hard to have a very good strategy. So I was thinking, does he, does he have earthquake or shatter or some? So I just, but I just figured he done. So I'm just gonna get all my death, a bunch of death blades on, cause I know I'm gonna take more than a one hit. Cause he is, I think he's pretty sure he's higher level than me, and he looks, yeah. You never want a bone dragon without a blade. When if you see, like I don't have any shields, he doesn't have any boost, not even a little bubble bu uh, boost. So it's a very bad strategy. He's a death with he's he doesn't have the best strategy. So I don't think that was enchanted. So just um trying to think. Okay, what's okay? I'm looking for a skeletal or skeletal dragon because that'll get some damage do, going while um while breaking the shield. But it's like, well, I got three blades. I'm not going to be wasting much. And the poison will break his shield and do some decent damage. Um, so it's a critical. Probably won't land. And if it did, it doesn't. it's not going to have any boost at all. Oh, it actually landed. So it's probably not going to have... It's not going to do much because of his low resist thing and the minus 40 I was on. And the fact that it wasn't enchanted. Um, I don't rely on critical because I normally don't. And when I do, I don't land. So, um, he infections. I don't typically infection death wizards, mostly in the fact that, uh, they don't heal. They hit when they heal. And if you do put it on, the pet usually will take it out. Um, this is my first very good pet I've ever had. He's, you know, he, then I just kind of, once I got, you know, defy, I was like, yes, I've never gotten defy on a pet because I hatched with a friend who had a really good pet. But, you know it's not that easy all the time so he's just spamming here he's got my health about halfway spamming I don't spamming is very uh I'm not a good spammer unless not even on my storm well when I had a storm so I got two blades on he's got way more health than me well not that much health, more health than me right now but I know I need to um one get some more health cause I know he can start now he's got me in a pretty uh a, a not so good of a situation here so I uh, use the Von monster it actually hits I managed to fizzle a lot on this wizard for some reason I don't know you see I've lost a f like five different games just from fizzling right before I'd hit and heal up and possibly kill him okay so this should do about 2,000 
I'm not exactly sure what his resist is. Um, this should do about 2,000. Yeah, a little over 2,000. So he's got, I think, about nine, eight hundred health. But now, see, I'm, I now I have the upper hand because I still got the little um skeletal, uh, the poison going around him, doing decent damage. So he's got very low health. But I know he's either going to hit and heal, like a lot of, like, you know, that's how death goes. They hit, they heal. So, okay, I'm shielding so he can't, you know, vampire me and get, you know, some health back. You know, just in case, so let's see what he, I don't know what he's doing. So he's using sacrifice or bad juju. Okay, sacrifice. So it's a very weak sacrifice because there's two, there's the Von Monster infection and the normal infection. So now I know he can't, he's a healer. So, um... I'm shielding again because you can't heal with only two pips. Sacrifices a three pips well. So now I, that's the reason I kept that doom and gloom in my deck. Okay, he's shielding, which is a wise, uh, a smart thing. So um, now I need to cast the um, the uh, doom and gloom so he can't heal. At like doom and gloom, you always want to keep a doom and gloom up when fighting other people because most likely they can heal. And you don't want them to have the upper hand with a uh, bubble. You want to always have your bubble up. And if they do um, put up their bubble, it's their way. You just put yours back up. So he's got five pips at this point. I know the biggest he's could hit and heal, or he he could poison and take my shield off, but wouldn't be very smart yet because he doesn't have enough pip. He doesn't. He needs a few more pips. I have him. I'm just looking for. I ha I really have him pinned down at this point. I'm just looking for a spell to hit him with. So he's going to appear, just try to hit straight through my um, shields. Still can't find an attack. So I death shield so it really won't, his attack won't do anything. Like, it'll barely hit anything. And if he did poison, that wasn't a very smart, well, I guess it could, if he had vampire in his deck, it would have been a smarter choice. So I think he vir virigulently plagued because he couldn't heal. Because he couldn't hit, um... Or, uh, he just didn't want me to Skeletal Dragon or Poison. So I used this, um, wand spell to get rid of the ver Virigulant Plague and one of his shields. It's just, you know, the Virigulant Plague's not gonna help me. So my pet heals me. It's not very necessary at this point, um, but it does get the infection off even though I don't. I have one heal in my deck, in my entire deck, and that's just in case people are faint stacking me, or like a Death Wizard just stacking me with, uh, traps and shields and stuff just you know you never know just in case so I think he was just looking for an attack I don't think he had anything to hit me with yet so he was just trying to do you know the smallest bit of damage he could so I skeletal dragon if it hits it's the game's over if it doesn't hit I still will probably win so we'll see if it hits yeah that's how pathetic my sprightly is because I have almost no heal boost Plus, there's an infection and the uh, bubble. So now I know that if this hits, it's over. I win. Um, death is a very good PvP school. Um, it's one of the, yeah, like I said earlier, one of the better ones. But um, um, the school I do lose most to is not, it's probably balance or myth. I've only fought one or two myths and I lost to both of them. And I've lost, I've fought a few balances, and I've lost to one. And it was because I've never fought, yeah, see, I was Archmage, so I have a much higher level than me. I'm only level 72. Um, I've lost to one balance out of the few I've fought. That's the only reason I didn't put them higher up with Myth. It's only because the one time I did lose is because I wasn't used to fighting high levels, a higher level Myth, I mean, balance, he was level 90. And so... I just wasn't used to he mana. I'm used to stacking up pips. He mana burned me. It did like 1,500 damage over through my shield. And when I was about to f valuable before I could hit him and kill him, it um he broke the bubble. So that's all. Bye YouTube.